this bit was growing as well. Because Can you explain your job title and what that involves? Yeah, I'm a health advisor and I answer calls from the uh, general public who call in that need actual advice from either a GP or to be referred to the emergency department. What is the expected response time to a call? The expected response time is anything between um, two to three um, minutes up until as long as it takes to answer the call and to get to the relevant disposition. What first interested you in this line of work? I've always been interested in the NHS and when this came up I thought it would be a good stepping stone to actually get into this area. How many hours do you normally work a week? Officially 24 hours, but quite often I do quite a lot of overtime, there's always overtime going, so anything up to 40 hours a week. And can you explain to us the process of a 111 call from the movement, the moment, from the moment the call is made to the end? Yeah, we originally take the call, it drops in, um, we answer the call, we introduce ourselves, and then we go on to find out who the patient is, where they live, where they are at the moment, what's wrong with them and then we go through a list of questions that are based onto the computer and we can finally come to the end disposition which is either the GP, an ambulance or the hospital. What training do you need to become a health advisor? There's a month's worth of training, um, it's first aid based and then the second and third weeks are on here and then you do three to four weeks with a coach which was, um, like myself you have to do coaching and um, then once we think that you're capable of taking calls on your own then that's when you're set up to be